What's going on everyone? Landon here with Lay Model Restoration. Today I'm going to be breaking down what it takes to finish up the front of your Pushrod 302 or 351 base small block Ford engine. This will cover a fresh short block build or any of you guys doing a stock bottom end overhaul. In order to have a complete motor, you need a water pump, timing cover, and the related parts to finish the job. I'm going to run down the list of parts needed for the front end of your 302 or 351 engine. First, you'll need a water pump, which will be available in either a stock flow or high flow configuration and manufactured by either Ford Racing or Edelbrock. Gaskets needed for this application will come from Industry Leader Fail Pro, which will include the timing cover gasket, front main seal, three different gaskets depending on the water pump application, and the bearing front oil pan gaskets if you didn't go with a one piece oil pan gasket. Covering the front of the engine will be a high quality timing cover from 5L Resto. There is two offerings available covering either carbureted or EFI applications and will fit 302 or 351 based engines. To bolt all of that up, 5L Resto offers an exclusive timing cover and water pump bolt kit. This is by far one of our top sellers and is manufactured by ARP and features a black oxide coating. Lastly, you'll need a harmonic balancer. 50 ounce or 28 ounce imbalance options will be available as well as a Ford Racing Balancer which will feature a removable counterweight for applications requiring a neutral balance. If your engine was custom built, you'll definitely want to check with your machine shop that did the balance work. Follow along guys as we walk you through the steps on installing these front accessories on your 302 or 351 short block or factory rebuild project. In this particular video, we used ARP hardware, Felpro gaskets, 5 Resto, and Ford Racing components to assemble this portion of our 302. Before you begin, it is in your best interest to have a clean working area and to clean all of your parts prior to install. Assuming your short block already has the timing chain, cam gear, crankshaft sprocket, and camshaft installed, start by positioning the timing cover gasket over the dowels in the engine block. If you need to install your timing chain set, our detailed install is in the video description. With the engine upside down on your stand, place a small amount of RTV behind the ear on the gasket and on the engine block where the timing cover and engine block meet together. Carefully position the front main seal into the timing cover. This can be done using a 2x4 and a dead blow. Be sure you evenly tap the front main seal into place. Take this time to clean the inside of the timing cover with quality brake clean to ensure it is 100% clean. We are going to show you the correct locations of the timing cover and water pump hardware without bolting it to the engine block. Starting with the two short timing cover bolts, place them in the two bolt holes directly behind the water pump boss on the timing cover. Align the dowel on the timing corner with the bottom left bolt hole on the timing cover. Place the three medium length timing cover bolts in the following locations. Place the timing pointer stud at the bottom left bolt hole. Next, position the water pump onto the timing cover. Place the two short water pump studs in the following locations. The medium length water pump stud will go here. The long water pump stud will go in the following location. The two longest water pump bolts will go here. The short length water pump bolt will go in the following location. The water pump nuts will go as shown. Don't forget the nut with the smaller thread diameter. This will go on the timing point. If you need help, refer to the video description to download or print our detailed installation illustration. Position the timing cover over the crankshaft and lightly tap it into place using a dead blow. Torque the timing cover bolts to 15 foot pounds. Position the water pump gasket, water pump, and the hardware. Hand tighten the hardware and then torque to 15 foot pounds. Apply a decent amount of fresh engine oil to the timing chain and crankshaft sprocket. Trim the gasket flush with the engine block and timing cover. Lightly oil the outside of the harmonic balancer that will slide into the front main seal. Apply a small amount of oil on the inside of the crankshaft. Now apply a small amount of RTV in the crankshaft keyway located on the inside of the harmonic balancer. Carefully position the harmonic balancer onto the crankshaft. It is highly recommended that you purchase or rent a harmonic balancer install tool. Avoid using a hammer if at all possible. Lightly oil the harmonic balancer to crankshaft bolt at the threads and underneath the head of the bolt. Hand tighten and then torque to 120 foot pounds. Double and triple check all your work and you're all done. If you guys want to see more videos for your push rod base Mustang, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
All the needed product links are in the video description. Don't forget, grab your water pump and tire and cover accessories for your 302 or 351 from LateModelRestoration.com.